shouldn't have too many problems with this, the New Zealand captain. Um, obviously we're pretty gutted uh, about the performance that we put out there. Um, I mean, I've just had a little bit of a review on the game and we did some really good things, but um, at the same time we made crucial mistakes and crucial errors, errors um, and they scored probably two really easy tries against us. But um, yeah, I mean, onwards and upwards from here. Uh, we've got England coming up, which we're really excited about. Uh, so we kind of want to do this review tomorrow and then flush that game. Yeah, and no, it was pretty exciting to be able to become the you know second a person to run out with 50 caps and obviously lead the lead the team too. Um, yeah, I mean the feeling was was, was pretty exciting. Um, I felt during the morning I was excited about it. It was almost like I was playing my first test all over again. Um, yeah, so to get out there and lead the team out, um, you know, it was a pretty special moment for me and my family. Uh, looking back at my career uh, when I started, no, probably not. Um, well, not yet anyway. Uh, when we used to, when we started, we had one or two test matches a year, um, and now we're getting between six and eight. So, I thought maybe you know back then it would take another ten or so years. So it might have been 23 years rather than 13. But um, to be able to do it in 13 years uh, is pretty cool. Um, games, there's a lot more games a year now, so it's going to happen a lot faster um, to the girls that are on the team now. Um, but it's a pretty special moment right now. Um, for me and Fee to be the only two black fans that have done it. I guess for me, I've been pretty lucky injury-wise. Um, over the years, of, of, I mean, I've played a lot of rugby and haven't had many major injuries. So, um, But in terms of adversity with rugby, um, I, I had a dream of going to the Olympics when I knew Sevens was going to going to be in the Olympics and really wanted to go um, but train, train the house down but I wasn't lucky enough to go there and I mean I think that was probably almost the best thing that's happened to me in my career um, it's made me hungry with 15s and um, you know I've had a pretty good career so far and I'm look back on it and reflect on it it's been yeah pretty cool for me. Winner of the 2018 Kelvin R Tremaine Memorial Player of the Year is Kendra Coxedge. <laughs> I just remember scoring my first try uh, against England. That was in um, at uh, in Counties Monaco at their stadium. Uh, so that was pretty cool to to do that, especially against England. Uh, and then right, just winning the World Cups, um, 2010 and 2017. I mean, nothing beats that. Um, you know, you're, you're with your team, uh, all the hard work that goes in, and winning winning those. It's just an amazing feeling that you can't really de describe. Oh, I don't know if I've got 50 left in the tank. Um, we'll see what happens at the end of this year and leading into 2021 uh, World Cups at home in New Zealand. And I'd love to, to work hard to try and try and be there. And you know, who knows? I could want to try and end up being the most capped black fan ever.